What's up guys? Today in this video, I'm going to be teaching how to get your very first social media marketing client paying you $1,000 per month or more. This is probably the fastest way to a sustainable income working for yourself in 2017. So let's get right into it. So let's start out with why I decided to get into social media marketing. Reason was I was working at nine to five. I had recently dropped out of college. I was working for a couple months and I was thinking to myself, I'd figured out all these new entrepreneurship routes, all these different ways that I can make money online, affiliate marketing, Amazon selling, uh, social media marketing, drop shipping, all this kinds of stuff. So I kind of sorted through that and I was like, I started to think to myself, what's the fastest way I can make enough money so that I can quit my nine to five so I have more time to build up all of these income streams. So I sorted them all out and then I was like, hey, social media marketing, I only need one or two clients to make a sustainable income. If I can get one client paying $1,000 per month and then another one paying another $1,000 per month, that's $2,000 a month of what I'm making at my normal nine to five job. So that's what I set out to do and that's why I decided to get into it and that's honestly why I think it's perfect for a lot of you guys because it's gonna give you that opportunity to have the free time and uh, also be making a sustainable income. And that's why I think it's one of the best and fastest money-making opportunities of 2017, there's so much of a need for this niche. So before you go out and I teach you how to get your first social media marketing client, I'm gonna go over real quick what social media marketing is and what you need to know to basically be able to sell it to a business owner. Now overall, social media marketing is using social media and online to market a business. So basically what that is is simple as going out and increasing a business's sales because you're using social media to your advantage. Now, why this is really key is because, think about where the attention is nowadays. Think about how many people are on their phones, whereas in the past, people watched TV, they watched radio, they read the newspaper. That's where ads were before. And now, everybody, you look around, everybody's always on their phone. They're always on social media, scrolling, whatever. And not as much people are watching TV, not as many people are listening to the radio. Uh, not as many people are reading the newspaper. Barely anybody anymore is doing any of those other things. Most of them are all on their phone, but yet a lot of businesses are putting in effort to advertise these older methods when there's so much opportunity to be had on the phone. Now, one of the reasons social media marketing is better than those other forms, besides the fact that so many people are already on it, is because, one, the targeting is just absolutely insane compared to the other methods. Say you, say you run a radio ad, uh, a bunch of people in your area might hear it, but there's no other targeting besides that. You might be selling a car and like a 12 year old hears it on the radio. There's no 12 year old that's gonna go out and buy a car. So with Facebook and Instagram and all these other platforms, you can target specifically demographics, ages, male, female, but even more than that, you can target interests and you can target behaviors. You can target things like how much income a family makes, how many kids a family has, um, someone that's likely to move out of a home, someone that's likely to buy a certain type of car. It gets that specific. And that's where a lot of businesses are missing out because a lot of them don't even know this. And a lot of them actually, a lot of businesses know they need to be on social media because people are all the time, they're like, hey, you need to be on social media. Why aren't you on social media? But a lot of times the businesses don't really know why. And that's where you. that's why you need to be able to explain to them hey, it's important to be on social media because that's where people are looking nowadays. Um, it's important to have a good Google presence because when somebody wants to find a restaurant, they're gonna go on their phone and look for a restaurant. They're not gonna go to Yellow Pages and look for a restaurant there. So that's why this is all really important and this is where you can tie in your sales pitch. So how do you get your first client? Now from experimenting myself and hearing experiences of a lot of other people, I'm gonna go over the best and probably easiest ways to get your first client. Uh, by far, it's going to be the use the free trial method to get your very first one because you're probably not gonna have any previous results. Probably the easiest method is to go out and uh, give a free trial to someone that you know personally, someone that owns a business that you know, some business that you go into regularly. Go start going to networking events. You can find those easily by using things like meetup.com. You can find a bunch of your local networking events. So I do wanna say, don't necessarily think you have to know how to do everything right away. If you're helping them out and giving them a free trial, you don't need to know how to post most effectively. You don't need to know how to make a website. This is all stuff that you can learn on the go. It's actually a lot easier than you think to make a website. You can go on something like Squarespace or something and actually make a website within a couple hours. So don't worry about having to do that stuff. Just worry about getting your first client 
and getting them on a free trial because if they're getting for free, they're not paying you anyways, but obviously you still want to do a good job and show them good results. So go ahead and do that. And for a free trial, I typically recommend posting for them and then also maybe run a Facebook ad. If um, Facebook ad is probably going to get them the most results. If you can do like a giveaway where they're giving away maybe one thing that I did was give away free coffee for a year, which is actually just one coffee per month. I said, like this page and share this post and one in 100 people that do that will win a free coffee for a year. And tons and tons of people share that and their sales actually doubled from that. That's all it takes, advertisement simple as that, a simple giveaway. And you can do that in a free uh, trial period and then you're gonna get a ton of results. So make sure you ask for ad spend if you decide to do an ad in the free trials period. So we'll worry about getting the actual results in another video. So let's continue on and figure out how we can get this first client. So first, call up those friends and family, uh, say, hey, I like what you're doing online, check out their online presence. Uh, go into their Facebook, go into their website. You can actually make go ahead and make like a PowerPoint audit of the things that they're doing right on their website, the things that they're not doing so well, uh, all the things that are on their website, Facebook, Instagram, social media, online. When you search in Google, do they show up? You can show them all these things. Hey, you're doing this good. You're not doing this good. Uh, I could help you with this. And they're going to trust you a lot more that you looked at their business ahead of time. And so I'll go ahead and put an example of an audit down in the description below so that you guys can take a look at what my audits look like and maybe use kind of a similar template for yourself. Don't use the exact one. I'll be watching you out there. Okay, so we figured out now how to prospect a business and find a business to work with. Now, how do you actually go about actually getting them to buy or even just try out your free trial? So what you do next, say, let's just use a restaurant for example. You go into the restaurant in person, you'll go up to the host and say, hi, my name is Billy Wilson. I'm a social media marketer. I put together this free business audit for you guys. And I was just wondering if the owner is available to possibly go over it with them real quick or set up a meeting that we could go over it. And if they say yes, obviously that's a good thing. Go through and talk to the owner about it. And then if they say no, the next thing you do is ask, uh, when would the owner next be available? And then if they say a certain time, then you come back at that time and try to talk to the owner again. And if they don't know, uh, the next thing you'll do is ask, what's the best way to contact the owner so that I can send them this free business audit? And then they'll give you the contact information or they'll say, no, I won't give you your contact information. Then the last thing you do is, uh, then what's the owner's name so I can uh, address this letter to them with the free business audit inside. And most of the time it won't get that far. Um, you'll get one of the earlier steps. So next thing you do, once you actually get in front of the business owner, you either get them to set a meeting, which is best. So you say something like along the lines of, Hey, I'm a social media marketer. I had to put together this free business audit for you guys. I looked over all of your online presence and, and, uh, saw what, what things you guys were doing good and what things you can maybe, uh, I think I can maybe help you with and give you a couple tips to help you improve your social media presence to get more customers coming in. Uh, using your online presence. So uh, would you be able to set up a 10 to 15, 30 minute meeting to go over this and I can basically teach you all the things that I have in this audit so that you guys can use it and get more customers in your business. So let's get that meeting set up. And even if you want to, you can mention the two week free trial if they don't really seem that interested. Um, I wouldn't recommend giving the free trial away until you get into the meeting. So next thing you do, once you actually get the meeting with them, um, sit down and you kind of just go over the audit with them, show them the things they can improve, give them some tips, give them some free value, uh, everything like that. And then try to get them to ask the question, uh, would you be able to do this? That's going to be your whole goal. And you try to make it kind of sound a little complicated to fix these things. And you just give them the tips and the tricks, everything like that to be able to improve their social media and start getting customers through maybe a Facebook ad, for example. So you finally got in the meeting with them. Now the next thing is go over that audit with them. Give them as much value as they possibly can. Teach them everything uh, that you would do. Basically tell them to do everything that you would do for their business and make it. you can make it sound a little bit complicated that it's hard to do these kind of things and then try to get them to ask the question, uh, would you be able to do this for us? But you keep going over that, show them like the benefits of Facebook advertising, talk about them like that. Don't try to sell it. Ask them a lot of questions though. So you get into the meeting. The first thing that I typically do is just ask them a series of questions about their business to, to make it feel to them that you're genuinely interested in helping their business. If you just go in and trying to say all these things are doing wrong and just try to say social media marketing is the best, you should be using it. Nobody's going to buy that. Uh, you need to be personable. You need to actually help like 
You need to think in your head, I want to help this business because they're going to feel that if you genuinely want to help their business, they're going to know because you're going to start acting differently if you actually want to help them. So that's what you need the mindset going into this. It's not how can I take their money? It's how can I help this business? And the money's going to come after that. So if you just play it smart, you're going to actually eventually get them to become a client. So what you do in the meeting, ask them a question. Uh, what are your main business goals? What are your overall business goals? Where do you want your business at? Um, do you want multiple locations? Do you want your revenue at a certain goal? Where is your revenue at right now compared to where you want it to be? What are some of the main problems that you're having in your business right now? Are you not getting enough customers? Are you having trouble hiring the right people? Uh, a couple things like that. Most of the time, the main problems will be not having enough customers or they could they could possibly want more. Maybe they're not getting enough leads. Anything like that, there can be a lot of possibilities and problems. That's why you ask this question. And then another question you might ask is, how did you start this business? And that starts to build a personal connection when you start asking questions like that. They feel really connected. And they like business owners like to tell their story. And that's kind of another thing. You you ask them why why you started this business. What makes your business different? That's a really key question. What makes your business different? Because you ask them that, they're going to start talking about their business. What makes it different? And then you say, oh shoot, I didn't know that. And you might be a customer of theirs, but you can say, hey, I can demonstrate what makes you guys different in your social media posts. And that's really going to get their attention because they want to they want to get that out to people. They want to get their story out to people and they can do that. You can help them do that by providing these posts that are going to tell their story and their brand story. And that's where it becomes a lot easier to sell. So after those couple questions, um, get to know their business more get to know them more then I start to go into the audit help and teach them give them tips on what they can do better like a small tip might be uh, boost posts that are getting high engagement and go in and, and if you click on the likes on the post that's boosted that maybe has 500 likes you can actually invite all those people to like your page so just little tips like that can be really helpful for some of these business owners and then they also know and get an idea that you know what you're talking about so the whole goal with them this leading up to this is try to get them to ask the question can you do this for me now, not every time you'll get that. So sometimes the next transition step would be um, the pitch. So at that, this comes kind of at the end, and this is where you're not really going to want to pitch them, but you're going to try to get them to ask the questions for you and also kind of make them want this service. So this is where you're going to really hit on their pain points and start just figuring out how you can be the solution to their problem. So the, earlier on, they must have given you their goal. Sometimes it's best to ask for the revenue goal and how much is a typical client worth to you? So for their, say, for example, they're a chiropractor, uh, a typical client for them long term might be worth a thousand dollars or more per client. So if you're charging a thousand dollars per month, you just need to bring them one client per month, and that's going to be really simple in their head. They're going to be like, "Hey, if this guy only has to bring one client per month for me to be paying this one thousand dollars, that's a really simple logic, uh, logical way of thinking. Uh, that's a really way that clear way that you can demonstrate your value. You can say, if I can bring you this many customers, would you be okay with paying this price?" And then after you say, and then they say, yeah, if you brought me that many customers, yeah, I'd be okay with you with paying that, that price. But the problem is a lot of the rebuttals you'll get is like, one, they don't really know if you can get the results. Two, they might be a little bit afraid of paying that much cost up front uh, because once again, they're unsure of the results. Because if they were sure of the results, if they knew they could pay $1,000 and get $2,000 back, anybody would do that. Um, but they're not they're unsure of the results So that's where you come in when they're unsure and you say so I understand this This is a little bit of a risk to you. So I want to get rid of that risk completely I want to give you a, a two-week free trial to test out my services to show that What I do actually does show results and does help you get customers and then after that if that goes well Would you be okay with paying me one thousand dollars per month and a lot of times they're gonna say yes because a free trial you're pretty much guaranteed there's like almost no risk to them that they're gonna get clients and they're gonna get re good results now this is where you come in you actually have to provide the results um, but that's for a whole separate video and this is exactly how you can get your first social media marketing client so I hope this video helped you guys and leave a questions down below um, like if you're worried about results or anything like that don't worry about that at first just go ahead and go out and get the client don't worry about business cards or anything. Just go out and take what I just t taught you and try this out on a couple different businesses. Like I said, I'm gonna put the audit down in the description and I'm sure there's a lot of videos you can find online how to create a business audit. Create your own business audit and then go into the businesses and say the same exact things that I just said and 
actually get a client this way. I almost guarantee you if you talk to enough people and if the, the leads are hot enough, then you're going to definitely get a client. So I hope this video helped you and if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments below because I'm sure you guys are going to have some questions. Uh, just make sure you leave it and just take action on this because honestly, this has changed my life. Doing this has allowed me to spend my whole day doing whatever it is that I want and it's just completely life changing. So if you guys want the same opportunity, you, you're only going to have this opportunity probably for a couple more years, this social media marketing opportunity where it's really hot right now. This is a really good time to strike on this. So take advantage of this opportunity because you're going to regret it if you don't. And um, man, if you have any questions, like I said, just leave them down in the comments and I'll be sure to get back to you guys. I love you guys. I'm out.